Hey everyone, you're watching Sidestep Adventures. It's Robert. I'm out here with Cody, Brian, and special guest today, Walter, is out here shooting video with us. And today we have something super cool to show you and tell you about a beautiful old church and a lost community. And we're about to show it to you right now. All right, so to get things started today, I want to point out how absolutely beautiful these trees are out here, covered in Spanish moss. As we make our way through down to the church, make sure you watch out for uh, snakes, guys. Yeah. And rattlesnake heaven out here. Man, the Spanish moss is amazing. It really is. Yeah. So this church dates back to 1830, although this isn't the original church building. This one, as you can see, if you look at the sides, was built with round nails, which means it was built after 1880. Also, at some time, it got electricity. I don't know how long it's been since this church was used, but it's definitely seen better days and won't be here much longer. Man, this is neat. <clears throat> Look at the glass. Oh, the I love that. Yeah, the little panes and the wavy glass. That is so neat. I always forget how this goes, but I think the uh, the older the window, the more panes of glass. And just think about it. <clears throat> These windows would roll up and down. And just think, somewhere a hundred years ago, somebody probably stood right in front of this window looking out. Yeah. And maybe there was a conversation between somebody standing here and somebody there or not. You never know, but it's like it was alive. There were, there were people and it's, it's just really, it's hard to fathom history really. Yeah. Sometimes. And just, you know, enjoying the cool breeze on a hot summer day yeah. through the open church windows, you know, because churches, and I've said it before, uh, but churches were not just places of worship. They were also, you know, community meeting places and, you know, all of that yeah, back in those days. Place on the ground. Yeah. There's something digging down there. Yeah, probably an armadillo or. Wow, this is like. Screw up that ladder. Yeah. Yeah, the wood's turned, to... turned into fat lighter. It's such a cool old building. Yes, it is. <clears throat> this is interesting. Look at this. It's flat board. But it's grooved like tongue and groove boards. Oh, yeah, sure is. On the bottom. Yeah, they were. Kind of like, uh, what was it, flooring wood, yeah, right? Yeah, this is floor, floor boards. That's interesting. And if you look down here, there's uh, vertical boards down here. Like maybe that was the exterior wall at one point, and then they put this. Yeah, you're right. Actually, uh, that's a, I think that's a square nail right there. So this uh, 
church may have just been rebuilt, you know, or, or what do you say? Uh, well, these around there over here, but a bunch of them like it was patched, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Those are square right there, square nails there, and round nails there. So, you know, it may have been uh, upgraded, uh, rebuilt. Trying to think of it, remodeled. That's the word I was going for. <laughs> remodeled it sometimes. If you go through enough words, eventually, by the law of averages, you'll come up with the right. Right. The chimney's been redone. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably added on. Yeah. Later. The tin roof is old, but it's a later tin. This is where you be extra careful. Yeah. Because you don't know the structural integrity of the building. Yeah, one wrong step and the whole thing just comes down. Look at that. Was that a carpet or painted on? It looks like linoleum. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, yeah, you can see the end right there. It right here it looked like the board, you know. Like it goes painted. You can see where the roof was redone. Yeah, it was tiled at some time. And of course oh, yeah. you have light bulbs there. And this place is amazing. Got some wasps in here. Look at the old door locks. Yeah. Which is actually unusual for a church to uh to have locking doors. A lot of the old churches you see, you know, were just left open. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can see it was not, it was used not that long ago. Right. You know. These uh, door locks may have been a much later addition. Yeah. Not that long ago, of course, in relative terms, right, you know. Right, yeah. That, that would have been a wood-burning stove going out to that chimney we were yeah. talking about a minute ago. And this, uh, these walls are covered. That's yeah. The original wall coverings. And of course, there's vandalism in here, which is very little, which is yeah, good. Yeah, uh, that's pretty it's funny. You should see that because I was just about to say that I'm really glad to see it's not graffitied up. Yeah. But there is a little bit. <clears throat> and I guess what we're walking on right now is old uh, ceiling tiles. Yeah. Which also shows that it was used, you know, not that long ago. 60s or 70s? Yeah. Here's a bird's nest up in the uh, oh, pipe cool. for the chimney. Look at that. You can see the original ceiling right there. Yeah. Yes, it is. That corner seems a little... Yeah, well, the roof is gone right there. Oh, yeah, it is. It's going to speed up. And here's where brother whoever would give the sermons. <clears throat> There's no pews, I just noticed. Yeah, probably taken out and repurposed. Well, this piece Look at this. Pews. This is just laying here. Looks like a uh, worked rock. It does look like a worked rock. Huh. And somebody found it and laid it there. I wonder how many years ago someone found that and laid it there. Yeah. No telling. This place is absolutely beautiful. I mean, even in its disrepair. 
Well, it's 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 beautiful as a piece of artwork because it's got it's clearly you got that rustic mess. Actually, I would prefer without the the stuff because it's like just the bare yeah. original walls would be cool. <clears throat> That's cool. The preacher used to stand and give the good news. Yeah. Uh, there would be uh, several generations of parishioners. Yeah. And just look at the view out the window, man. The Spanish moss covered trees. That's so cool. Nice yeah, and can you? I mean, you can stand here and just feel the the cool air blowing in through the window. Just imagine that oh, on a yeah. hot summer day, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> a hot summer Sunday morning, all the windows open and the cool air blowing in. All right, so now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the community of Pineville, the community that this church used to serve. The village of Pineville is described many times in old out-of-print publications as a thriving village that prospered because of the number of successful planters located nearby. There is even a book of fiction written about Pineville, Chronicles of Pineville by William Tappan Thompson, written in 1853. A History of Marion County, Georgia by Nettie Powell states that the fourth church in the county was established around 1830 as a Baptist church made out of pine logs and founded by Elder Andrew Hood. It also describes Pineville as a prosperous little town where the planters had a good deal of leisure and culture. Pineville had one of the finest racetracks in the county and crowds frequently gathered here to witness the speed of the well-trained horses. And today, no trace of Pineville remains except for this church. So while this church used to serve Pineville, and this one is the fourth church built in 1830, but the, it was described as being built out of wooden, out of cedar logs. And obviously the construction and the materials used differ from the historic account of the church. So at some point, the original church was probably burned or destroyed somehow, and it was rebuilt or either remodeled to this church, which has also seen use throughout the years and been remodeled several times. As you can see down there, it's obviously a newer foundation. Yeah, and that iffy foundation. A lot of times churches were founded, like say 1830, and the founding of the church isn't so much the building itself, but the congregation that came to worship it. The building would change throughout the years. Got big old logs. All right, so we're about to do another one of my favorite things to do with an old building. We're going to crawl under it and look and see what we can find. All right, so I got to watch out for snakes and black widow spiders. It's two, uh, two common critters out here. It's interesting to see the uh, the old foundation was just a log sewn in half. It's also interesting to note that the original church built in 1830 was a, a log church, so you could almost wonder if that came from that church. And look at the uh, hand-hewn beam there. Let me get a little bit closer to it. That is one gigantic beam. Yes, it is. You can see a collection of older bottles there, or I'm sorry, older cans. Take a look at the other side. On this occasion, I'm not brave enough to actually climb all the way under the church. 
but I thought we'd look and see. You can see down there, hopefully you can see it, where someone's tried to repair the underside of the building, the foundation of the building, where it's kind of weak in the middle. Someone has stacked bricks up to hold the flooring up. And also the many cinder blocks around the church. So that was an absolutely gorgeous church, and I'm very thankful we made it out here in time to film it, because it won't be here much longer unless somebody takes some serious action to restore it. Yeah, well that corner of the roof, I think. Yeah. Uh, it'll go fast. That's the sort of building in history you just don't see every day anymore, and it's quickly fading. I'm just, I'm very happy that it was still here for us to film. It's a very cool place. And I hope you enjoyed seeing it too. Well, hang on. What do we have up here? There was something else that we saw earlier and you may have seen earlier and we wanted to show it to you too. So in the woods, just outside of the church, the church is up here. And out here appears to be an old outhouse which is also something you, you kind of rarely see still standing around buildings. Yeah, I have never seen one still standing. That's a fence. Yeah. I guess you got to walk around to look inside of it. Ah, I'm getting caught by vines. I thought there was some kind of side door or something right there. I thought that was an open side door, but just a little, little blockage. See if I can make it back around. There was one over here too. Yep, that's definitely what it was. Watch out for snakes again. Stomp oh, the ground. On this side too. Yeah, I see that. The old phone's out here. That's definitely what it was, a uh, two-hole outhouse. You check it out. Wow. Was there like a partition between Bob and Jim? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. It's got a new roof on it. Yeah, I see that. The, the roof looks newer. Looks like the holes have been filled in. That's pretty cool. Do, excuse me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We usually don't go around filming bathrooms on <laughs> sidestep adventures, but when they're of the historic nature, it's pretty cool. And you don't usually see those still standing. And it is interesting, it looks like it's got a newer roof on it. So I guess if they were still using that at the same time that they were still using the church, you know. Yeah. Or maybe it was built later. But let's go on now and check out the cemetery. It's in 1957, you can barely see at the bottom there. So one thing, that I find interesting is this, I read this was the Pineville Cemetery and it was unmaintained, but all of these graves out here seem newer, which obviously doesn't coincide with Pineville. Yeah. Oh, wow. I walked right by those and didn't see them. Mm -hmm. 